In this video, we will show you how to replace your rear blower motor resistor and wiring harness on this Lincoln Navigator. This will be located on the driver's side rear panel of your vehicle. Let's get into it. To gain access to where we're going to be working, it's a good idea to move the rear seat out of the way. To do that, we'll have it in the folded position. Come under here and grab this rod, gently lift it up and lift this up as well. Once you've done that, come right to the center, lift up this area and bring this down and put it in the locked position. Make sure that's completely secure so it does not fall down on you while you continue. Now we have clear access to our rear panel where the blower motor resistor is going to be. Let's go ahead and move the seatbelt out of the way. I'm just gonna pull this aside. Now we can continue on with the trim tool. Carefully get along each side of this and gently pry it out of place. Once you do, you wanna pull it down and remove all three tabs from their locating areas. Go ahead and set that plastic panel aside. Now with that out of the way, you have a nice clear view of the blower motor resistor wiring harness. Down along the bottom where my index finger is, there's a small push tab. Go ahead and press that in and pull the wiring harness off of the resistor. We'll just give this a quick inspection and now we can move along. Let's continue on to exposing some of the wires for the blower motor resistor wiring. To do that, I'll just use a razor blade. Be extremely careful not to cut myself while I pull this back. Now at this point, we'll expose the wires and you want to give them a close inspection. Make sure there isn't any areas that are damaged or swollen in any way. If there's any areas that are swollen or damaged, you want to make sure that you cut that off so that we can replace it. Now as I'm trimming these, I want to try to make them different lengths, so when I'm putting in my wire connectors, they will be staggered. Now you want to make sure you hold on to this area because we will be using this for when we put on the brand new connector. Let's continue on with some wire strippers. You want to make sure you take off approximately an eighth of an inch. We'll do the same to all. Once you've completed all four wires, we're going to continue on back with the wire connector area. What we need to do here is make sure that we make the wires the same length as the areas that we had trimmed. And also, once you've done that, you also need to make sure that you connect them into the proper wiring area. If you switch these wires around, it's not going to be able to function properly. Now we'll strip each one of these wires. Let's take our connectors, we'll slide it onto the wire and continue on to crimping them down. Once you have one crimped into position, continue on doing the same to all. I wanna make sure that I have the blue with the orange tracer going to the same area as the blue with the orange tracer on the connector. So I'll go ahead and take hold of that wire. Slide that in there. Crimp it down. Here we are. We'll just give that a nice tug to make sure it's secure and continue on doing the same to all the others. I'll do the orange one, which is directly behind that. Okay, 
Let's do our other two wires. I'm going to go with the blue one. It's the back side here. Slide that in there as far as we can. Time for our last wire, the red one. Now once you've done all that, we're going to want to make sure that we shrink down the electrical connectors onto the wires. To do that, you can use a little bit of heat. Try to do the same on both ends here. Do the same doll. Now that we have all those done, let's continue on with some electrical tape, make it look nice and neat. Now that we've completed that, let's continue on to removing the blower motor resistor. On this, you'll find that you have two 8mm headed bolts holding it in place. Remove the pair. Remove the blower motor resistor. All right, friends, it's time to install our brand new blower motor resistor. When you do this, you wanna pay attention to this area along here and down along the bottom. At the top, you can see that there's two holes. One's for the screw and the other's for an alignment point. Take the side with the two holes facing up and press this into position. Once you have it in place, continue on holding it there and start installing your screws. We're only going to start these in by hand. Once you have each of them started in, you can snug them up. Now keep in mind, while you're tightening these, they're only going into plastic. You do not want to strip the plastic. Now we can take that electrical wiring harness and put it into position into the blower motor resistor. Press it in, listen for a click, and give it a tug to make sure it's completely secure. The next thing you want to do is make your way up to the passenger compartment and go ahead and test the blower motor functionality. Assuming it works perfectly, continue on to installing your plastic trim panel. For the plastic trim panel, you'll find that you have those three tabs up along the top. Those need to slide into their corresponding areas. Let's bring this in. Now we can swing the bottom down and start pressing this into the locked position. Let's get that seat belt back where it belongs. We'll continue on to releasing this and folding it back down. Perfect. Close your tailgate, take your vehicle for a road test. Thanks for watching. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.